Dad. What time is it? It's the 2,231st Howdy Doody Show, starring Howdy Doody and Buffalo Bob Smith. Howdy, boys and girls. Howdy! Say, uh, kids, tell me, do y'all like popcorn? Yeah! Well, I'm glad you do, because you know, kids, there's going to be plenty of popcorn in Dutyville this week. You know why? Well, very simply, it's because a big, big carnival is opening here today. And you know, kids, they're setting up the carnival right now in Dutyville Park. And we're going to have all kinds of rides, and we're going to have a big, big tent show. And I... Oh, hi, Clarabelle. And what's the poster for? Uh, pardon me, kids. Let me see. I... Oh, Val Carney Carnival coming to Dutyville. But, Clarabelle, the carnival is already here. And you're not going to tack up something saying that it's coming to Dutyville. It's already here, don't you see? And I... Oh, I see it all now. You see, kids, what Clarabelle did. He used the other side of this carnival poster to print the mailing address for our Howdy Doody Secret 7 contest. Good for you, Clarabelle. Now, boys and girls, make sure that you watch our show very, very carefully again today and see which one of us in Dutyville will be wearing the secret number seven. Could be anybody. Now, when you see who that person is, then you write that person's name on a postal card. No letters, please, kids. Make them postcards or postal cards. Put that person's name down who is wearing the secret seven, together with your own name and address, of course, and you mail that to... Val Carney Carnival. Car Not Val Carney Carnival. They don't mail it to that. You mail that too, kids. Oh. Mail that to Howdy Doody. Oh. Box 345, Radio City Station, New York. Now, if the name on your... If the name on your postcard is correct, then, of course, you're going to be eligible to win some of the wonderful prizes that you'll see later on today when we hold another drawing for seven lucky winners in our contest. Now, you know we've been receiving some wonderful mail from you boys and girls. Nearly all correct answers, too, and it proves that you kids are right on the ball. Or I should say right on the seven, huh? Yes, sir. Now, Clarabelle, do me a favor. You pack up the address over there in the canteen, and thank you very much. You do it right away. Thank you, Clarabelle. Now, kids, today... Clarabelle, you can't tack up the thing where you left the hammer. If you shook hands with me, you gave me that the hammer. Attaboy, tack up that side. Now, Clarabelle, you can't you can't tack up the sign when I have the sign. Here, take the sign. That's the boy. All right, now. You need nails. Pick the nails. That's it. But next. Ooh. Well, anyway, boys and girls, listen, what do I hear? The carnival music. And that means, boys and girls, that the carnival has officially opened. So, kids, excuse me a minute. I'm going to stroll around the park and see all the sights. Kids, see you later. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, golly. You know what, Mr. Carney? <laughs> oh, boy, your carnival is the yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, the Val Carney Carnival is the greatest in the world. Hey, and uh -huh. ready hey, to hey. see the biggest tent show in the world. Yeah. It's later. Uh -huh. <laughs> That'll be the greatest. Hey, 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 hey Carney, nice oh, to see you again. Again. Buffalo Bill. That, Buffalo Bob. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Yes, I worked perfect. for some years That's ago. That's all right. Ah. Yeah, I've been wandering around here and seeing all the sights. Yeah. And all the pretty girlies in their spangles and tights. Hey, hey. And I've been wandering around, and I must say, you've got a great, great carnival. Yeah, indeedy doody. You've got great... No, howdy doody. Howdy doody, You've yes. got great side shows. Yes, hey, indeedy. Hey, yeah. You've got... You've got great rides. <laughs> yes, sir. Everything is just... Great. And I've got great problems. Uh, great uh, problem? Uh, my show needs something. Oh, no. I don't know what it is. I just can't put my finger on it. Can't put your finger on it, huh? No. Maybe it's a red hot stove. You can't put your finger on that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cute joke. Well, let's play, Bob. 
stop helping. I'll use it sometime. Hey, no, Buffalo Bob. Uh, look, uh, Mr. Uh, Carney, uh, come, yeah. come with me and meet the kids in the peanut gallery, would you please? Do I have to? Now, they'd be very happy oh, to meet you. Come hey, on over I'd here, Val. Yeah. Any time. <laughs> Maybe it's a red pig. Maybe it's a red hot stuff. You can't put your finger on that. Oh, oh I made it funny. Oh, yes. All right. Now, boys and girls, I'd like to have you meet Mr. Val Carney, who has the Carney Val. Howdy! This is Mr. Carney here. Hey, hey! Yes. Well, I'm, I'm very anxious hey, hey. to see your carnival. I understand yeah. it's a wonderful, wonderful show. It's a gasser. Now, we'd like to have you meet lots of people. Hey, uh, there's hey, Chief hey. Fundicide. Oh, Chief And, uh, hey, da oh, oh, here's the Chief right now. Hello there. Chief, oh, uh, uh, carnival spirit. Uh, this uh, is Val Carney. Yeah. And, oh, I see you brought some nice balloons for the kids. Oh, isn't that nice? Well, uh, isn't that nice? Isn't that you nice. give them to the kids, Chief. Yeah. And I... No. <laughs> Sorry, Buffalo Bob. Well, Bob guy can't give them to the mixed-up peanuts. Oh, you're kidding. No. No, you see, these my balloons, and I have a special trick about them. You see, I'm going to catch Clarabelle because he's going to sneak up and break them like he always does. Oh. I know it, so this is a trap and I'd be waiting for oh, it. Oh, but Chief, this is a little bit silly. Big Indians playing with games? Hey, hey. Why don't you uh, give the balloons to the kids? No, no, no. Kids, hey, you uh, like no. balloons, don't you? Yeah! Would you, would you expect to see a big Indian like uh, Pocahontas or, or, no, or Chief Thunderside playing with balloons? Wouldn't you rather have the balloons yourself? This yeah. is Right, uh, look, Clarabelle has balloons. Yeah, got balloons. What are you going to do with the balloons, Clarabelle? Going to give them to the kids. Well, now, that's a very nice uh, gesture. Uh, Clarabelle uh, would give balloons to kids. Uh, you, big Indian, you wouldn't give balloons to kids. He's ashamed. Well, you should be ashamed because, see, the kids like them. Now, Bonk, if he's yeah. going to give his balloons to kids, yeah. I'm going to give my balloons to kids. That's the spirit. Give the balloons right, to the kids. Uh, here's one piece. Where'd your balloons go, Chief? <laughs> How about to that clown in passing out my balloons? I catch you. Well, that's all I you know. gonna pass out, you. No, Give me it, my it, balloons. Was, it, was, it was a nice... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Clarabelle, wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 where are you going, Val? I just found what I need for my show, Buffalo Bob. I need that clown. No. Oh, he's funny. Clarabelle. But wait a minute, Val, I... Well, kids, maybe Val needs a clown for his circus, but I don't think he should have our Clarabelle. After all, we need Clarabelle here in Dutyville. Kids, this could be serious. I'm going to stop him, and I... Oh, what am I worried about? After all, Clarabelle would never leave Dutyville. I'm sure of that. What's wrong, Clarabelle? What's the matter? Oh, gosh, what's going on? Oh, oh howdy, Cowbunker. You see that silly clown, Clarabelle? Oh, yes, Chief. Uh, he's back there. Back, back here. Oh, that silly clown. Where? I... No. Oh. I be heat smart. Now, Bonga, I open this, I roar like a lion, and I scare him out. happen to know where Clarabelle that funny oh. clown is. I gotta see him. Oh, 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 oh he's funny. Oh, I know, oh, 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 oh. I know. Calabunga. Where is he? Him back where is here. He? Where is he? Oh, back there. Back there. I'll All call right. him. I'll call him. No, no. Oh, oh. Oh. Call him. He's gonna get squirt you in the face. Oh, I don't believe that. <laughs> he wouldn't dare. I'll try it anyway. Well, Calabunga, I'm gonna Clarabelle. stand here and laugh when you Clarabelle. do it. You get Clarabelle. squirted. Clarabelle, where are you? Clarabelle, what? Oh, that's about the funniest thing I've ever seen. Buffalo Bill, why didn't you stay on the plane? Come on, Clarabelle. I want to talk to you. Come on, Clarabelle. Oh, he's a funny man. Oh, howdy doody. Uh, would you mind leaving me alone with Clarabelle for a little while? I've got some important matters 
to take up with him. Here's a free pass to the tent show. You can bring your buddies along. Why, thanks, with... Mr. Carney. I'll see you later. Okay, young fella. <laughs> You're the funniest clown I've ever seen in my life. I want to sign you up for my show, Clarabelle. Oh, you're so funny. You just sign right on the bottom line here, young man, and you'll be treated right. Sign right on the bottom, Clarabelle. That's what put down there. Hey, uh, no! Oh, Clarabelle, right. don't sign that contract. Don't care. If you contract. sign the contract, you know what it means? You're going to have to leave duty, Bill. You'll never sign it, torn or not oh, torn. Don't sign now, it. don't sign this contract. If we leave it all your friends. Oh, no, just... The cotton picking minute. Oh. You signed it, Clarabelle. You signed it. <laughs> and you only have to work in the show. I sign it. And then the rest of the time you can ride on all the rides free. What's the matter with Buffalo Bill over there? Sign it while he's laughing. Oh. Don't sign it. Sign that. It's all duplicate. Sign it. It's duplicate. He signed it. He signed it. Let me see what, <laughs> what you were laughing. No, there's no sense in looking at it. He's a working for me now. Go so there. All right, buddy, you're leaving. I'm trying. You'll be leaving all your friends. <laughs> yeah, he thinks you're funny too, Clarabelle. <laughs> Don't worry, friend. You'll have new friends. You're going to have me. And I'm a good friend. You'll have Phyllis the Snake Charmer. Oh, yes. Oh, don't worry. And Millie the Tattooed Lady. Yes. <laughs> I knew that would get you. Go now. Go now. Go. Oh, you'll be working for me. Yeah, take a pass and have a few rides. Oh, oh I tell you, I haven't had so much fun in years. <laughs> Now I got Clarabelle from the show. But I'm glad he didn't read this contract. Because if he knew what he had to do, he might not want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, boys and girls, it looks like Clarabelle is going to leave duty now. I still think it was very foolish of him to sign that contract before he even found out what it was. <laughs> well... We won't cry about this. We'll tell you more what happened a little later. Right now, kids, we're going to find out who are going to be our seven lucky winners in our Secret 7 drawing today. And kids, if you're one of the winners, here's what you'll win. Look here. A choice of one of these terrific Schwinn bicycles. Ah, this is the Traveler, kids, a truly lightweight bike. And look over here. Now, this is for you little boys and girls. And this is called the Spitfire. Yes, sir. And over here for you gals, oh, will you love this? The Schwinn Corvettes, a bike that every girl will love. And over here, I think this kid is my very, very favorite. It's the terrific Schwinn Jaguar. And that's not all. <laughs> Each of our winners will also receive an ideal toy prize. The girls will receive one of these beautiful Shirley Temple dolls. And the boys, a wonderful assortment of ITC Hobbycraft kits like this one of Tyrannosaurus Rex, the king of the dinosaurs. Yes, sir, howdy boy and kids. Also, every winner will get one of these huge nylon pools by Hetrick. Really cool fun for you and all your friends. And they're impervious to mildew and rot. Now, we're going to select the winners of our first seven sets of prizes. Now, uh, kids, do you all know who wore the Secret Seven last week? Who was it? <laughs> That's right, it was out of duty. Well, it was a different one every week, and they forgot. All right, now we're going to select our seven winners. So come up here, Sonny, and tell me, what's your name? Bobby. Bobby, and what's you, uh, where do you live? Um, New Rochelle. In New Rochelle. That's right near Duty'sville. Okay, good to see you, Bobby boy. <laughs> well, now look, we're going to ask you to pick seven cards out of our impervious pool here. And uh, I'll tell you what we want you to do. Pick seven from different areas. Now, these are cards. You go right ahead and select seven cards and give them to me. Get them from down underneath there. Now, these are the cards that have been sent here in the past four weeks. boy, Go as quickly as you can, little fella. boy. Uh, oh, this is a fine card, but it's for a wrong show. This is for crosswords. Uh, go ahead, give me, uh, give me seven. This proves you weren't peeking. This is a crossword card. 
Okay, Bobby, you go right ahead and get me seven, but do it as quickly as you can. This is Howdy Doody, and that's the right answer. All right, and now, boys and girls, here we go. Our first winner is... Here is Ronnie Morgan from New Albany, Indiana. All right, and the second winner is... You're going to have to go faster there, Bobby boy. It's Wayne Taylor from Mobile, Alabama. And the third winner is... You're going to have to go faster. Uh, Captain Scuttlebutt is right, and it's Jerry Lee Wynn from Blair, Oklahoma. And the next winner is... Stephen Luter from Nashville, Tennessee. There's four. Come on, Sonny. We don't want to run into Rough and Ready. Uh, this is Howdy Doody, Anita May Hubley from Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. And a boy. And the next winner is... Isla Cloud from Oklahoma. That's enough, Sonny. I have seven. Oklahoma Route 1. And... Oklahoma Route 1. And the next winner is... Oh, we have John Lilholtz from... Uh, Wherever that is. Narrowsburg, New York. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, boys and girls, there are our seven lucky winners. Thank you very much, Bobby. Now, don't forget, kids, keep watching our show today for the Secret Seven. And if you see who's wearing it, you might be a winner in a future contest. Well, now, for little Bobby, for helping us, and for all the rest of you boys and girls here in the peanut gallery, we have a little prize for you. Now, kids, do you all like to play cards? Well, here's a new kind of card. You're going to love this. This is a game of cards, and it's Howdy Doody cards. All our favorite Howdy Doody friends around here. And boy, will you ever have, I have them all upside down. Will you have a barrel of fun playing this? Kids, we have a deck of Howdy Doody playing cards for every one of you boys and girls. Yeah. Right after the what? The show. The show. That's exactly right. And now, kids, I... <laughs> Oh, you're going somewhere, Clarabelle? Well, good luck. Where are you going? Oh, wait a minute. You mean you're really off to join Carnival Carnival? Well, so long. Good luck, Clarabelle. It's too bad you're leaving. I was just going to open up some Hostess Twinkies. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yes, sir, it looks like, and I know that Hostess Twinkies are everybody's favorite. They're yours, Clarabelle. Say, kids, you're going to love Hostess Twinkies, too. They're so extra delicious. Now, I know that you'll love to have them as a between-meal snack. you love to take them on picnics, pass around at parties, and you're going to love them as a dessert, either by themselves or with fruit or ice cream. Now, you know, boys and girls, here's why kids trying Hostess Twinkies for the first time just can't seem to get enough of them. You see, boys and girls, every Hostess Twinkie is a long piece of fresh, tender sponge cake, light and soft as a whisper, so fluffy it just melts in your mouth. And you see here, boys and girls, every Hostess Twinkie is simply crammed with the yummiest, the smoothest cream filling a boy or girl ever tasted. And you see, kids, you get two. Two big Hostess Twinkies in every package. Ask Mom to get you some Hostess Twinkies next time she shops. And tell her to look for the special Hostess display like this. Get Hostess Twinkies fresh at your grocer's today. <laughs> I'm really worried about Clarabelle. I, I think there's something a little bit fishy about that contract that he signed. Oh, how about Blue Bottle? Oh, oh Chief, uh, Chief, uh, what's that? Did you see Clarabelle? Oh, cow buggy, yes. You know where I find him? Where? Him asleep on merry-go-round. Oh, no. And then you know what happened? What? That Val Carney, him come along, take him away to be in show. Oh, Starting dear. right now. Well, come on, look, in that case, let's Howdy and you and I get over there. I'm curious to see what Clarabelle is going to do in that show. Right. Come on, Chief. <laughs> and now, hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, the feature attraction of the Val Carney Show. At this time, friends, we present the world's funniest clown. I'm still laughing at him. <laughs> uh, do not dare devil balance an act. If you will cast your gaze upwards, you will see the great Clarabelle on top of the high pole, upside down. Standing on one finger! Oh. Oh. 
Polly, look. What's that Connie trying to do to Clarabelle? Clarabelle's a clown. He's not an acrobat. He's terrible. I got to stop this. Oh, right. boy, it's too late, Buffalo Bob. There he goes. Yeah. Oh, well, he's great. Oh, I never yeah. saw anything like that. Careful, Clarabelle. That's enough, buddy. That's oh, enough. That's enough. Don't crush your luck. <laughs> well, my how do you like your clown? <laughs> I mean, how do you like my acrobat? Ah, oh, you pull a fast one, Val. Oh, boy. Right. He's a clown. He's not an acrobat, and that's too dangerous. That you right. think that's dangerous? Wait till you see his next trick. Oh, no. Clarabelle is going to walk across the high wire without using a net. Now, you can't do that, no. Val. I ain't going to do it. No, I wouldn't do that for a million dollars. Clarabelle's going Clar to do it. He signed the contract. Oh, no. Watch him. Oh. Careful, buddy! Careful! Oh, Careful, Clarabelle! Oh, Bob, oh boy, Clarabelle looks scared! Well, that's oh, terrible! Oh, well, he'd be scared, I'd be scared too up there! Well, who wouldn't be? Way up there in a thin oh. little wire? Oh, Without a net to catch you if you fall? And a right. little umbrella! Watch out, Clarabelle, buddy! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Good boy! Oh, no! What's he doing there? Oh, no! He dropped his umbrella! He dropped his umbrella! Oh, oh, Something's okay. wrong, Buffalo Bob! Well, well, he's way oh. up in the air! Oh, I know what's wrong, he's scared! Yeah, I'll say he's scared, oh. he, 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 he's too scared! Scared to move. Look at him. He's got to move. Oh, no. Come on, Clarabelle. Keep going. Walk oh, there. I swear. Oh, you're right. wasting your breath, Val. Oh, He's oh, scared. Oh. He's too scared oh, to walk. I don't care how scared he is. He signed my contract. And he said he would walk all the way across the wire. Now go. Well, I don't care what your contract oh, says. No. I'm going to get him down from there. Get over there. If I can. Get over there. I'll get him. Oh, wait a minute. You're spoiling my whole show. Now get down from there. Yeah, I'm going to get him. I don't care what happens. Wait a minute. Oh, I'll get you. Where she Bob is climbing the ladder up to the high wire. Oh, come on, oh, look, see there, Buffalo Bob, him the bravest pioneer in wide, wide world. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, I hope Buffalo oh, Bob is walking out on the wire. Where about? Steady, I'm coming after you, buddy. Hey, don't look down, Clarabelle. Don't look down. No, 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 no. Turn around. Careful, buddy. Turn around, Clarabelle. Careful. Would you give me your hands? Now, carefully. Carefully. Come back. Slowly. Slow. Slow. Slowly. Slowly, Clarabelle. Atta boy. Atta boy. Atta boy, you made it, Clarabelle. Steady. Steady. Mr. Carney. What happened? Yes. Buffalo Bob just rescued Clarabelle from that high wire. Are you uh, ashamed of yourself? Buffalo you? Bob's the one who ought to be ashamed of himself for spoiling the show. I'll teach them a lesson. Oh, right, you're, all right, right. you're all right, Bob. You're all right. Clarabelle, you're fired. You're great. You're all right. Yes, and you, Buffalo Bob. I just want you to know that that's the last time I'll ever hire anybody to work for me from Dutyville. You're so right, Val. Yeah. You know why? Huh? Why? Why? Because no one in Dutyville had ever worked for you. That's why. That's now, why? Now, just trickery. Wait a, Wait a minute. Trickery. What's why? Just Isn't a minute. Because no one had ever worked for him. You, and you know it. People why? are all out of your mind. Getting a poor clown oh, to sign a contract. This... He can't read. He doesn't know what he's signing. You're leaving on a horse. Don't yeah. come out of me. I have an announcement I'm to leaving. Me. I don't, don't want to hear it. Wait a minute. No one else will ever work for you, too. And you, I mean, either. You sabotage my whistle. Yeah. Listen to that. I ain't crying. Get away from here, you Indian. Try a jelly bean. Oh, stop it. Stop it, all this foolishness. Clowns and Indians, that's all I get around here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this ends our show because I just fired Clarabelle the Clown. <laughs> Why you all booing that? Because man. they don't like you any more than we do, Mr. Carney. That's that I know. Right. Wait a don't minute. Don't go up, Bunga. You might as well pack up your things and leave this place for good. And Gosh. next time, don't go get up, physical, Bunga, Indian. Next time. No, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, wait. <laughs> Boys and girls, you saw what happened. Did you see Clarabelle way up on that high wire? Yeah! Dropped his umbrella? Yeah! He nearly hit that stage pretty good, but he didn't. 
Well, boys and girls, luckily we rescued Clarabelle. And luckily, Val Carney fired him because he had him under contract. So now you know what that means. Clarabelle is going to stay here in duty bell. Yes, sir, kids. And uh, I don't think that Clarabelle will ever take another job and leave duty bell. Because Clarabelle has learned one thing. And that is that friends are certainly more important than anything. Well, now, uh, we have a beautiful day in duty bell today, don't we? Huh? Is this a lovely day? Be a great day for a... Great day for a picnic. How many of you boys and girls have ever been on a picnic? Let me see your hand. Well, now, that looks like it's nearly everybody. Quite a gang, huh? Well, I guess that all you boys and girls and moms and dads know that the big, big moment at any picnic is when mom opens the picnic baskets, takes out the apples and the cake and the lemonade and the delicious sandwiches. Well, now, boys and girls, here's a way that you can make any sandwich a better sandwich. Just make sure that you make it with... Wonder Bread. Yes, it's fresh, delicious Wonder Bread. And you know, kids, every slice has just the right thickness and just the right texture for really a perfect sandwich. And you know, here's something else about Wonder Bread that's even more important. Wonder Bread helps build strong bodies 12 ways. Now, during the summer, I guess nearly all of us go swimming, huh? Well, here's something very important for you swimmers. Now, you know... You swimmers need both energy and muscle. And when you eat Wonder Bread, it not only helps give you energy and muscle, but it helps build strong bodies 12 different ways. And now, come on, boys and girls, let me hear you all spell the name Wonder. Now, here we go. W-O-N-D-E-R. Wonder, that's Wonder Bread. So, kids, ask Mom right now to start getting delicious Wonder Bread today and every day. You just tell her to look for the bread with the red, yellow, and blue balloons printed on the wrapper. And now, boys and girls, it's time to say goodbye, goodbye until next Saturday, when we'll all be with you again. Now, kids, make sure you're with us next week. We have a great, great show for you. A show about a famous explorer, and this famous explorer is going to bring to Dutyville a very rare and a very valuable dinosaur egg. And he gets Tizzy, our dinosaur, to hatch it. Well, now, do you think it's a real dinosaur egg? Kids, be with us next week and you'll find out. But right now, boys and girls, stay tuned to my good friend Jimmy Blaine and Rough and Ready next on NBC, so... Sing it, honey boy. And so, so long. Till Saturday, one week away, when you will hear us say, Howdy do. Come on, gang. It's time to go. Till our next show. Say, kids, here's Clarabelle has. A little sign. You know what it says? Howdy Duty, Box 345, Radio City Station, New York City. Now, kids, we want as many as you boys and girls out there as possible to write in right away and write down the name of the person on today's Howdy Duty show who was wearing the Secret Seven. You know who it was, Clarabelle? I don't tell, okay? Now, you kids, write down that person's name on a postcard, together with your own name and address, and mail it to Howdy Doody, Box 345, Radio City Station, New York. Do it right away. Bye, kids!